kind of want to, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this one. We never left. Let's go. Oh, God. I think this will be the last game for the night, depending on how long this one is. Dread XP. Fire games. Made with Unity. I would love to make a game for this collection. Calling game heavily utilizes stereo audio. Headphones are highly recommended. If you're streaming or recording your gameplay using OBS, please use display capture rather than game capture. This will circumvent issues with screen flickering. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I am using display capture. So I said they put that little disclaimer at the front, though. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna film noise on or off. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go off and we'll put the brightness on just a little bit higher. Gameplay. Look sensitivity. Favorite look. Oh, so you can look around a little. It's very laggy when you look around, though, so. I know, right? That was so fun. I need to play that one where it's in space with the uh, camera. You know what I'm talking about? I can't remember the name of it, but I, I think I bought it, but I haven't played it yet. Item glow. Um, I'm gonna turn on item glow. Just to make it easier. Back. Observation. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. It's not the same dev, is it? Computer is an auto save system. Please do not exit this application when you see the icon above. So I can't remember the dev of uh, Untold Stories. <sighs> Okay, here you have that computer beeping noise. Hey, video, how you doing? Oh, I like this already. already this is giving me such a strong John Carpenter vibe with the music and the way that it's starting oh shit we never left I think I may have found my new favorite. <laughs> Please leave your message after the tone. Uh, hello, this is William, and you don't know me, but your cousin Michael works for me at Claustra Studios, and he has not shown up to work at all this week, and nobody in the office has heard from him. 
So of course I stopped by his house to see if he was okay, and his car was in the driveway, and I swear I thought I saw someone walk by the attic window, but nobody answered the door. Um, but I did find a note on the door, which is why I'm calling you, and it just has your name, number, and a message that says, finish the game. So, um, you know, Michael's known around the office for being uh, a little bit off, but this is strange, like, really strange even for him. And, you know, as I'm sure you know, he typically keeps very to himself, but he has talked a little about you and how you guys used to write the, uh, uh, Choose Your Own Adventure stories together. So, you know, I hope you know what this all means, and of course, I hope Michael is okay, but we really need to get in touch with him. So, when you get in touch with him, please tell him to call us at the office. Uh, okay, thanks so much, bye-bye. Okay then. There was wood paneling in my house that I grew up in. My parents took it down maybe late 80s, early 90s, but it was there for a good number of years. Classic Tyson Adventure gameplay. If you find yourself getting stuck, feel free to reference the help menu at any time. Okay, all right, so it's, okay. All right, let's do this. I'm ready for this. I was born for this. Let's have a good smoke. I like that I, uh... Michael gave me this house key years ago. I don't know why, but he insisted I keep it. We haven't spoken in years. I should get some lights on in here. I don't really need to mess with this right now. Uh, March 28, 1983. Dr. Miller says I'm using the journal wrong. She says I need to get out of my emotions and my anxieties. I need to get out of my own. I'm not disturbed. I'm just passionate. She doesn't get it. Nobody gets it. I'm on the verge of creating the next evolution of horror entertainment, and people are just saying my brain is fucked up for having those horrid thoughts. It's not like I think that way personally. It's Dario Argentino, is Dario Argentino sadistic because he directed a movie where dancers are getting sacrificed to a cult? No, people call him a genius. How is what I'm doing any different? I'm making a character. April 2nd, 1983. Multimedia, that's the key. I figured it out, and I like where this is going. I've got a plan in place, I just need to execute. Everyone's going to see that I'm a real artist. The game is going to be different than anyone has ever seen. My magnum opus. Five. Three. Hmm. If I want to listen, I'll need something to play this on. The one light switch. Where is? Okay, here we, here we go. There we go. I'm glad that I put on highlight so I'm not pixel hunting all over the place. Oh. Why did Michael lock up his bedroom? Feed the cat. Pizza box. March 15th, 19... Oh, I wrote him in wrong order. I've been working pretty rel relentlessly trying to make something great. A lot of the work has just been watching movies. Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Shining, etc. They're fine, but it needs something else, and I'm just not sure what. When I watch Jason Voorhees chasing campers, I feel nervous. Sure, but scared? I feel tense, and I feel worried for the character, but I know that I'm okay, so I don't put... So I don't feel that horror. I don't feel like I'm in any danger. It feels so disingenuous. Plus, it's really difficult to capture that visual aspect uh, with the tech I have available. All I really have is text. Text and more text. I'm not much of a reader, but maybe I should check out the Shining novel. It could translate better to my games. March 17th. I've thought more about it. I think I was wrong. Maybe the technology won't allow much in the way of visual horror, but that doesn't mean I can't find another way. I'll keep trying. I think I'm onto something. March 18th. I've got it. Journal updated, okay. 
photograph. Photograph of an old house. Picture of a living room. Never seen this place before. Looks like it was only lit with the camera flash. Sunny, sunny plays, but okay, so we don't have. I'm just gonna turn on every light I can everywhere I go. So fun. If he was in danger, why wouldn't he call? I'm reading these all backwards. February 7, 1983. Dr. Miller has suggested that I start writing my thoughts into a journal. According to her, it can help me sort through my more difficult thoughts. I hate the term difficult thoughts. I don't think wanting to create my best work is something to be thought of as difficult. Maybe I'll stick to it, but I don't really see that happening. February 8th. I just got back home from work, and I'm so sick of being there. No, understand, no one understands my vision. I thought when I decided to work on, in computer games that I'd be able to stretch my legs a bit and finally bring my art to the world, but no. They're all so tame. They all say that my ideas are too dark. It's not too dark, it's horror. There's a difference. They want to make games about dragons and knights and fucking fantasy quests. I frankly don't care about saving some princess. It's shallow. According to them, horror isn't marketable. And I've heard that too, actually. Even, the, even today. Like for novels, no agent wants to pick up a horror novel unless you're like the next Stephen King. It's ridiculous. We need to meet our quotas. No one will ever want to play something that's twisted. Screw them. I'll do it myself. Nothing on the back. Okay. Journal. Back nine, back three. Okay, so it tells you the back of stuff. So. No, no, no. Resume, resume, resume. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, a Nintendo. And an Atari. This looks like a good enough time waster. Got one. Yeah, my cousin's fine, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play some games for a bit. Oh, it's getting more complex now. I gotta hold the keys. I gotta hold the keys in that direction. The diagonal ones. Otherwise, I can't get them. Closter Studios. That's where uh, Michael works. Hmm. I want to see if I can get fifty. Well, I've noticed a few things. Uh, he mentioned Jason Voorhees. Um, pretty sure Jason Voorhees was not a killer in Friday the 13th until at least, I want to say, 85 or 84? And this takes place in 83. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But I thought that Friday the 13th, the first one, came out in 80 or 81. I could be completely wrong with the time, though. I do know that Friday the 13th Part 2 scared the shit out of me as a child. And created a, like, 20-year-long horror fear. Which I got over. Obviously. Now I love horror movies. I'm gonna go for a score of 100, see? That gets me anything. I mean, it's it's hard to know for sure. Hey, there we go. I got a star. Should I go for more stars? This is, this is the game now. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted, oh my god. No, 
no, no, no. I'm so close to 200. I can do this. I can totally do this. I can, I'm going to get 200, then that's when I'll quit. Because I am... I'm on fire! I am the Space Defender. That, that was what this game was called, right? I can't remember now. <laughs> Come on, 16 more to go. Let's go. 15. Come on, just 8 more. 8 more. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay, there's nothing for 200. So we did. We got a star. Oh, that is... That is, that is... Oh, I'm so sorry. That hurt my ears. Oh, the whole thing is just the game console. Yeah. Okay, no, that wasn't a Nintendo. That's a, that's a VHS player. Or a beta player. That's an Atari. Okay, so never mind. It looked like a Nintendo as I was walking up to it. Another cassette tape. Okay, there's that bedroom. What's in the bathroom? What the hell's that sound? What's it doing here? Okay, well, we found a, ca a cassette player. April 20th, 1983. Everything is in place. I haven't slept in days, but this is going to be worth every second of exhaustion. I keep getting calls from work asking where I've been. I don't see the point in answering. They have never understood, so why would they start now? I'm about to make a better game than any of those assholes could ever imagine. There's a lot of risks involved, but this is some really good stuff. Time to create true horror. I picked my playtester. I needed someone special. Someone I felt like, who I felt that, if anyone, would understand the importance of what I'm doing. He didn't like my idea as much when we were writing stories, but I've matured. I know how to execute. Everything is perfect. It's me, isn't it? Okay. I'm the one. Oh, right, and good. Okay, my name is Dr. Miller. It is January 23rd, 1983. Could you state your name and age? Hey, wh why is this being recorded? This is just for record keeping and review purposes. I promise that these tapes aren't going to leave this office. Hmm. So, name and age? Yeah, um, Michael Krieger, uh, 32. And what brings you to see me today, Michael? I thought I filled all that out on the paperwork. Yes, but I always like to ask. It's just nice to hear you share it in your own words in person. Well, I, um, I guess I just feel kind of stuck. Could you expand on that at all? Well, a lot of it is work. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to work for a video game company. It's, it's what I love to do. I just... Fuck, I... Oh, just... No, no, it's okay. Say it how you feel it. You don't have to censor yourself. I just thought I'd be able to express myself a bit more, you know? I'm, I'm really craving that creative freedom. What do you mean, how am I streaming? I get there's a market for those fantasy games we make, but I just feel like I could be making more. What do you I'm mean I'm playing horror. More? This is great. Something... Real something that would make you feel something? I don't know. And is this feeling just related to it? Super right. No, but it's a big cause of it. Hmm. Okay. So, um, I did want to talk to you about what you. How you doing, Steel? Work. There are certain things that I find concerning. Why would I? I'd really like if we could talk about that if you're able. Yeah, could we not? I, at least not yet. I'm, I'm just not. No, no, no. It's okay. I understand. We can circle back to that later. Okay. 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 So there's something concerning. And recording. Okay. This is Dr. Miller. It's currently February twelfth, nineteen eighty-three, and I'm talking with Michael Krieger, age thirty-three. Hmm. 32. 
Right, sorry, age 32. Whoops. How are you feeling today, Michael? I mean, I've been worse. Been up to oh, I'm sorry. exciting? No, not really. I've been watching a lot of movies, but that's about it. Oh, what movies? Mostly horror movies. Oh, I can't. I can't watch those. I'm a bit too jumpy. Um, why? Why horror movies? I guess the feeling I'm trying to get. It's like I'm so numb. Maybe if I find the right movie, it'll make me feel something. But it's like, it's like none of them are enough. Hmm. I can see how that can be frustrating. <laughs> I kind of feel yeah. some way sometimes. Oh my God, I'm uh, Michael. <laughs> have you uh, uh, been writing in a journal like I suggested? Oh yeah. I actually think I'm taking to it a bit more than I expected. Well, that's great to hear. Is there a reason you've had a change of heart about it? I know you weren't super thrilled last time we talked. Yeah. Yeah, I think I found a use for it. Yeah, that it's happens. Really great to hear. So, um... What were you playing? I did want to ask about where we left off last. I know you don't like to talk about it, but... Are you having any more thoughts of hurting others? Hurting yourself? I, listen, I... I know... What I wrote on the papers, it, it sounds bad, but it's more fantasy than anything. It, it's not like I'm planning on doing anything. They're just, they're just stories. I understand that, but if they continue coming to mind, then... I promise I'm okay. Okay. Hmm. We are recording. This is Dr. Miller. It is March 20th, 1983, and I'm speaking with Michael Krieger, age 32. How are you doing today, Michael? Actually, um, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think I've got something figured out. What do you mean by that? Like, uh, you remember last session how I talked about feeling stuck? I think I found a way I out. I love the wood paneling. Oh, and, and how's that? I decided to make my own game. Something that no one at the company would understand. It's gonna be amazing. And uh, what does everyone at work think uh, about this? I... I haven't gone in a, in a few days. And why is that? I just... I, I, I feel stifled there. Now I go back, but... I need this time to work on my work. I need to focus on this one thing. Well, um, I'm glad you found something, but please remember, you need to take care of yourself. Oh, cool. Too. I know. I, I know. Trust me, this is all going to be great. Well, it's it's great that you found something. Yeah, don't I know it. Mm -hmm. And are you still writing in that journal? Oh, yeah, yeah. Would I be uh, allowed to see it? Mm, not just yet. It's, it's, it's not quite finished yet. Finished? Yeah, it's not done. I'm not I'm not sure what you mean. Um the journal isn't exactly something you finish. It's more like a continuous stream of thought. I know, just just I'll let you look soon, okay? Uh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. My cousin is I like that they transcribed the whole thing. All in order. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Is there another... Photo of a woman reading in her living room from an outside window. Who's taking the picture? Uh-oh. Oh, Michael, what have you done? Computer. No. Is this some sort of clue? Why is it written front and back? Front. Have you been seeing everything you need or have you been missing something? Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's the journals. 
nine, three, six. There we go. A computer game. Oh, no. Is there anything else I'm missing? Though? Instruction sheet. Oh, hmm, this could come in handy. How to play text games. Keep your phrases simple. Some commonly used commands are examine and go to, followed by your target. While these are f by far not your only commands, they may help if you are unsure what to do. Example, go to the door. You must, specific, you must specify if you'd like to use an item or something by typing your desired action followed by the object in the item. This format is action, object with item. Example, unlock the door with the key. Do not use punctuation in your commands. If you feel you've completed the task in your area, you can always type go back. I missed something somewhere. There's... Hmm. I missed some journal somewhere maybe peak oh, that's kind of scary that I can peek okay I already I already read that with that. Oh, there's... Why is this door all boarded up? Something seems off. Okay, how do I unboard it, though? That's the question. Okay, we already looked at those. We played the game, looked at the cell phone. Looked at, okay. What? What what's the whole thing about video? What? I'm gonna I'm gonna play. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything I, I missed. Cause still a couple of journal entries, but I oh. So I think I need a key. Okay, so we need the key to the attic. Oh, huh. Another one of Michael's games. Is this what he's talking about? Hello, my name is Massacre, 1983, a game by Michael Krieger. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, it's loud. Okay. Uh, it's the Dread XP Collection 5. It's a group of like 10 or 12 games. This is just one of them, Massacre 1983. Actually. It's too dark in here. Can I turn off the desk light? No, I can't. You feel heavy with both the weight of your cargo and your conscience. As your bare toes graze the asphalt beneath you, you wore through your worn shoes, you marched onward. You knew exactly where to go next. The axe you lugged behind you is made a screeching noise as the metal grinded across the street. You arrived at your destination. Sitting over the door, yeah. The old Miller house, a quaint rustic home with two floors. There's a door directly in front of you. Beside on you on your left is an old car. To your right, a path to the backyard. Please enter your okay, um Oh. Go to old car you take a look at the car it's old and it's an old and rusted sedan there's a story to this car that you can't quite put your finger on the smell is one of the old scrap yards and metalwork you look through the window the keys are sitting inside okay um grab keys or take keys open door the car door is locked Open window. Okay, uh, break window. You cannot do this with your bare hands. Okay, use axe to break window. Okay, use axe, break window. 
use axe. Control. Okay, axe. So there's a door. Old car. Okay, um. Open door. What do you mean don't open? How am I not doing this? Like, I, I've played these kind of games. I know what I'm doing. escape to get out of that instead of keep your phrases simple yeah go to the door oh go to the door unlock the door with the key or break the window with the axe that's ah stop hitting escape okay Okay. Go to the door. You approach the front door. It's a beautiful shade of red. The architecture sets the scene perfectly. What's happening feels like a true moment. Open the door. The door is locked. Use axe on the door. No, too much noise. Okay. Go back. That's what I have to do. Go to old car. Use. Okay. okay. Go to window. No. Uh, use axe on window. The glass shatters with a loud crash. Not too loud, you hope. You peer inside the vehicle. There is a set of keys left out on the dash. Take keys. You grab the keys from the car. Go back. Go to backyard. You move quietly through the backyard. It's not as spacious as you would have thought, but the grass is trimmed perfectly. The patio is dimly lit by a dying light fixture by a dying light fixture. The back door sits at the end of a short stone path. Go to back door. You approach the back door. It's a flimsy screen door that stands in front of a more sturdy sturdy wooden one. Open door. The back door is locked. Use keys on the door. The door unlocks with a lovely clicking sound. This is what you've been waiting for. Oh. What's oh, that the computer trip to circuit? There's got to be a breaker box somewhere. that tea kettle why did the tea kettle fall <sighs> okay back in business <clears throat> there's a car in the garage just can't get to it Okay, back to the game. You step into the house. It feels almost like your own home. It's such a nostalgic structure. You can almost feel the lives that are created and lost by this house, and you want to be a part of that story. You crave to be a part of that story. Directly in front of you stands a staircase leading upstairs. To your immediate left is a small kitchen. Further onward, you can see the living room. Go to kitchen. You move left into the kitchen. The room is very drab. Tile floors and walls make the whole place feel clinical. There's an odd smell emanating from a bowl of fruit on the table. You hate it here. You want to go back. Take fruit. <laughs> go to fruit. Go to 
fruit bowl. Okay, go back. Uh, go to living room. You step into the living room. Horror video. Horror. It's another part of that story. Pictures are hung up across the wall showing a happy elderly couple. Young children are seen scattered among the photos. Grandchildren? You love them all. You're a part of this family and their story is in your head. Go upstairs. You creep slowly up the stairs. You try with every ounce of willpower you can muster not to let your axe bump this up the stairs. The smile on your face is almost painful. The excitement is unbearable. You shake in eagerness. Up the stairs, you only see a straight path to the bedroom. bedroom. You sneak to the bedroom door. It's cracked open ever so slightly. You can feel the mild breeze of a running fan from inside. This is your time. Walking inside, you step with such care not to make any spots on the floor creak. You see an elderly couple laying in bed. They look so at peace. The man sleeps comically with his mouth hanging open. The woman lays flat on her stomach. You want to look closer. You approach the bed. You can see the man's chest rise up and down so slowly. So, so slowly. It's your time. Use axe on the man. You raise the axe up above your head. You remember it being heavier. This feels right. You grip the base of the wooden handle with the greatest of care before flinging the metal wedge down on the man's stomach. His eyes jolt open as he flings himself for a moment, trying to sit upright. Did you hear that? There's footsteps, but there's nobody there. What the fuck? This is Dr. Miller. I'm speaking with Michael Krieger, age 32. It is April 16th, 1983. How have you been doing, Michael? Michael, I asked, how are you? Don't act like you care. Excuse me? I know you don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure where this is coming from. What? I found the thing that makes me feel better. And you tell me it's wrong. I... Michael, I understand your frustration. <laughs> but this... The project you're working on seems unhealthy. I understand you're passionate about this horror game, but some of the things you're writing seem sadistic. And I think it would be best if Don't we... you dare tell me what's best for me, you fucking bitch! Wow. Um, I... I think we should take a step back and... No, I'm done with this! I found what makes me feel better, and I'm gonna stick with it. I'm about to create a masterpiece in gaming. Hell, I'm, I'm creating a masterpiece of any art form. Why would you want to take that away from me? He's an RM dev. Michael, but I don't <laughs> think this is good for me. Don't pretend like you know what's good for me. You know I've spent my whole life just wanting to create. I just want so bad to let the world know what's going on inside my brain, and I finally found the message I want to send. I'm gonna be the horror auteur of the fucking millennium. Do you know what it's like to be told your entire life that your ideas are shit? It's too dark. It's disturbed. It's not. It's art. And I'm ready to show the world what my art can be. Oh. Stomping door slams. Oh no. And another computer game. How does it get here? Who was just at the door? Hello, my name is We Never Left, a game by Michael Krieger. Oh god, I well we gotta finish the game that we're playing now, obviously. I mean Oh 
Oh, we didn't get to finish the game. That's okay. We never left. Oh, we didn't get to finish Massacre 1983. I'm a little upset about that, actually. You trek along the road in the dead of night. The cold air fills your lungs as you creep onward. A trail of blood streaks behind you like the slime of a snail. You can't shake the grin on your face. The axe you drag behind you makes a clanking sound as it hits the concrete with every one of your steps. It's the most beautiful rhythm you've ever heard. Maybe. Maybe. You come upon an all too familiar home. A single level house with an attic for storage. So many hours spent inside. Work, work, work. Never enough. However, this house is not empty. He's here. To your left is an unfamiliar car. Looking ahead, you see the front door. Look at the axe. Okay. Okay, uh, go to axe. <laughs> go to car. You approach the car. It's nicer than yours, and you hate it. The interior is clean and put together. You're such a slob. Disgusting. The tires look freshly pumped, full of air. Use axe on the tires. You thrust the wedge of the axe into the car's tires. They let out a satisfying pop and hiss. He's not going anywhere. Okay, I go to car again. Uh, okay, no, uh, go back. <sighs> Go to front door. You walk to the front door. It's been left unlocked. You know that he's distracted inside. Open the front door. Open door. Did you hear that? How the hell? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, it's a laundry room. Further in front of you is the dining room. To your left is a hallway. Go to laundry. Room. You step through the doorway into the laundry room. The smell of detergent fills your nose. More laundry will need to be done soon enough. In front of you is the coffee room. Behind you is the living room. Go to coffee room. The coffee room is so quaint. A small box of a room with a table and chairs. It's made to relax. Behind you is the laundry room. Beside you sits the circuit breaker. In front of you is the kitchen. Then go to, uh, kitchen. The kitchen is just as you remembered. It feels so nostalgic. So many hours spent reheating frozen TV dinners. Ahead of you is the dining room. Behind you is the coffee room. To your right is the garage door. You stand in front of the garage door. The wood boards you had added still stand sturdy against the wall. Maybe it's time for him to see. I had to use the dining room behind you. Okay. Uh, use axe on the wood boards. You put your force into a great swing. The boards all split by your hand. The garage is open. Come and see. <laughs> Come and see. Ah, I've got no, ch I've got no choice. This is fucking terrifying.
dead cat. Michael's cat, Sabrina. Her entrails are splayed out on the hood of his car. I feel sick. For the art, dear God. Oh my God, there's three bodies here. Four, oh shit. The attic key, is it some sort of sick game? I don't even know if I wanna go up there. She's clueless. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's still one journal entry left. Michael, what have you done? Well, I bet there is. I bet you could do that. Close the attic. More bot. More fucking bodies. Oh my god, Michael, what did you do? Play me. Demo. Probably, probably a bit freaked out right now, but uh, I wouldn't be doing my job if you weren't. I just know that of anyone, you'd understand the importance of what I'm doing. Now I know, I, I know you weren't a fan of my ideas when we were kids, but I, I can only assume you've matured since then, right? Oh my God! Uh, what am I saying? I know you'll understand. That was the... Oh god. It's a hammer, there's... You step into the living room. You can feel every moment of anticipation rush past, rush past you as you become aware that you're creating your masterpiece. You are a true artist in every sense of the word. To your left is the hallway, to your immediate right is the laundry room. Ahead of you, 
ahead and to the right is the dining room. Go to dining room. The dining room. So many meals eaten here alone. You're so tired of seeing this place. The living room is to your left. To your right is the kitchen. Go to living room. You step into the living room. You feel every moment of anticipation. Alright, go to kitchen. Oh. Go to oh go to kitchen. Kitchen is just as you remembered. It feels so nostalgic when you Stand marveling at your work. All of this have led to this moment. Their lives are a set piece, and you're an artur. How do you view the dining room behind us? Okay, go to dining room. Yeah, it's all it's full of dead bodies. You step into the hallway. Your carpet is the carpet is dull. The walls are bland. To your left is the bathroom. Ahead of you, into the right is the bedroom. Directly in front of you is the ladder to the attic. Behind you is the living room. The blue wallpaper in this bathroom feels like it's part of your past life. You can't wait for that life to be over. There's not much for you to do here. Behind you is the hallway. Oh, I can't go back. The bedroom is your one safe space. All of your work, all leading to this. As you look into the room, reminiscing on all your failings, you understand now that you're going to achieve greatness. You shouldn't go up yet. You need to make this just right. Set the scene. Dim the lights. is an old rusty box. Inside sits a switch. Flip the switch. You flip the switch. There's a metallic click before the world becomes drenched in darkness. Everything is perfect. Saying two two go to He steps slowly up the attic's ladder, one foot in front of the other, each step making a subtle creaking sound. You pull yourself up using the axe for leverage. All around you are your past works. None have held the same feeling as this. This is special. Directly opposite of you across the room is a man at the computer. I can't get up. Get closer. You step ever so closer to the man. He appears to be sweating, shaking. You know you've done it. This is your magnum opus. You feel your chest tighten with excitement. You've never felt this way in your life. It's addicting. You stand in the center of the attic, the man still in front of you. Get closer. You take another step just closer. The man's posture is tightened. You can almost see the hairs on the back of his neck or stand on end. He's so pure, so helpless, your mouth waters. You stand a step away from the man. Get closer. You step forward until you nearly bump into the man's seat. Your smile hurts so badly. You grip your axe so tightly that your hands begin to burn. You've never felt more alive. You try your best to contain yourself, but you're verging on animalistic. It's euphoria. You're sure you can feel your hot breath on his neck. On his neck. You're an artistic genius. You stand right behind the man. Leave attic. <laughs> Go back. You 
use axe. You lift the axe ever so carefully over your head. You think to yourself, we never left. Was that us or was that Michael? Does that look like a gunshot wound, not an axe wound? I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. That was some good shit, man. Oh my god, it's already 1130 almost. I really like that. Fuck this sound and models. Such a nice mom, dad, nana, granddad. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a really good one. It was tense. I, li I liked it. I mean, there's some things I probably personally would have done a little differently, but on the whole, I, I enjoyed this. <laughs> Parting words. What the hell? For our first horror game, this is actually pretty goddamn good. I'm impressed. Yes, I want actual vodka. <laughs> Did you not want vodka? <laughs> no, that, that was that was good, man. Nice.